All right. What's up, everyone? Hopefully everyone is doing well tonight. <clears throat> we got our stuff ready to go. We'll be doing some more Pokemon Stadium with my Pokemon Yellow team and seeing how far we can get in Gym Leader Castle. We already went ahead and defeated... Pretty much everyone except Giovanni, and then after that should be the Elite Four and the Rival. And then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do from that point, because, uh, yeah, there's there's still gonna be a lot for us to do in-game. <clears throat> so, hopefully everyone is having a good night tonight. And we'll be able to enjoy some Pokemon Stadium. Hopefully there'll be no shenanigans, which you already know there's going to be plenty of shenanigans, because we are talking about... Pokemon Stadium, after all. Pokemon Stadium is going to cheat to an unbelievable extent. I had to the point where the other night I had to stop. On top of it getting late, it was I knew it was going to get to a point where it was going to drive me up the wall. And I didn't want to get driven up the wall that day. All right. So, <clears throat> let's see. Is, uh, all right. Ready to go ahead and get this N64 started. go hopefully my yellow cartridge is gonna be red <clears throat> yep everything got picked up just fine ah we got our no duo game boy i'm stoked about that you guys have no idea <clears throat> that's made any potential grinding going forward in red, blue, or yellow is going to be so much easier just with that. And once we're done with Gym Leader Castle up here, we can probably go ahead and run some more stadium stuff. Go ahead and check my audios real quick, make sure everything is fine. Alright, looks like we're good. Audio's in sync. <clears throat> what do we have to do in stadium? We already did the Poke Cup. We did the Petite Cup, and we did the Pika Cup. We can try Prime Cup. We can try some rental Pokemon. See if we can just get straight to round two of Pokemon Stadium. And maybe potentially even unlocking the... Uh, Game Boy Tower, the Dodrio version, because that would make everything even, even better for me. But for now, we're going to go ahead and run our Gym Leader Castle. As you guys can see, we did Brock, Misty, Surge, Erica, Koga, Sabrina, Belaine, and we had stopped off at Giovanni. And I know Giovanni's got some, some wacky people in his gym. They're going to have some legendaries, some unexpected legendaries i might add so that's probably not gonna be a, too much fun let's go ahead so we got trainer rocket trainer lab man trainer cool male and of course the verdian the verdian gym gym leader giovanni i feel like that's redundant should have just said Verdi verdian gym lead verdian gym leader giovanni I think that's it shouldn't have said gym leader redundant i like how his face is also obscured as if we don't know who giovanni is <clears throat> actually if you watching my uh, pokemon yellow playthrough with zero idea of anything on pokemon then yeah that's a that's a spoiler all right as always we will try my uh, regular team here with some slight modifications so we got our Pikachu, Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, but we are not using uh, Pidgeot or Lapras in this case. We will be probably riding out with our good old friend Rhydon, and of course, Alakazam, because Alakazam is pretty much our carry on the team. <clears throat> There we go. See, didn't I tell you? There's a there's a legendary on there. So Pikachu can deal with three of them. So I'm probably gonna roll out with Pikachu first. Pikachu can also dispatch. 
I mean, uh, not Pikachu. Alakazam will probably be the, the next safe bet here. And, uh... Honestly, Rhydon is probably the, the other safe bet here, so we'll go with Rhydon. <clears throat> Seems like the, the safe route here. Whatever comes out first, if it's a little too scary, then I'll just have Pikachu uh, drop a Thunder Wave on it. Here we don't have to worry about perfects. I am definitely going to want to Thunder Wave, because I know, I can already tell you right now, there's going to be a Stun Spore waiting for me, or a Sleep Powder, or something. So let's go ahead and beat it out immediately. Spore, I knew it! Probably gonna be taking a nap, guys. Yep, there we go. We are napping. They're both being cautious. And now I gotta wait to wake up. Let's see how many turns the game will have me asleep. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna boost himself up, huh? The heated battle rages on! They strike fighting poses. It woke up. We're awake. It's paralyzed, paralyzed on, the on the spot. Neither one is conceding an inch. What Hit it with a stab thunderbolt. It didn't do much oh, that's right. It's grass type. He's going to recover what from that? that. He's got one growth under his belt, too. The intense battle continues! Uh... Doo -doo. See how much body slam will do. What's this? No! The Mega Drains are gonna be annoying, so I'm probably gonna swap out to, uh... Alakazam. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna swap out to Alakazam. One still raring to go, but the opponent appears beat. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Hopefully he won't have a bug type move, which I won't be surprised if he knows Leech Life or something. Paralyzed on the spot. How will the swap Pokemon fight? Go ahead and hit it with the psychic. What next? Is oh, well, whatever I got from Grove, it just went down. Just gotta get it back. It up so I lowered it by a level, battle. I guess, and he raised it by a level. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's a hit. Every time, surviving by just a fraction. Let me see, I'm sleeping. I am, of course, sleeping. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. Come on, Alakazam, wake up. up. Oh, you're right, Alakazam. Did not let me down. What will it do? A decent hit. This matchup has become one-sided. Hit him with another psychic. A psychic blast. Good hit. It goes down after a good fight. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Golbat. Oh, that Golbat's going down. Poison type? Ooh. How will the type difference affect that? Savage attack. Whoa, like Super effective Pokemon and a critical goal. hit. It's definitely going down. Now, that didn't take much. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's Radicate. Wow, did not pull out the Moltres. I'm, the I'm shocked. I'm going to be honest. I was 100% expecting one Moltres to show up. What's that? And the eradicate soon. <clears throat> and there goes the 
I really should get like a a Gengar going and just teaching it a bunch of stuff. Psychic is definitely a way to go in this, in all of this. All right, we are definitely continuing. Let's see what Lab Man has in store for us. Okay. I've got at least two Pokemon that are weak to electricity. I've got at least two Pokemon that are going to be weak to, uh, to Psychic. Chanmon tops Kabu on Magne. Pokemon that can go down from Venusaur as well. Kazam is definitely on the team. It's just a matter of who are the other two going into the fray. I'm gonna go with Venusaur, Rhydon, and Alakazam. A sleep powder right out the gate. It's probably gonna be faster than me. Yep. He's already that swapping Pokemon out. Must not, have been the right choice. Oh, not surprised that he swapped out to Firo. If I can get the sleep powder and I can get a safe switch in. Oh, no. I got scared for a second. That took a bit. Alright, let's get a ride on out here. Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. We'll hit it with a rock slide. Oh, it's right on. It's fast asleep. It's flying up Will in the air while it's Pokemon asleep. Swap change the flow of battle? Now, it's definitely gonna be faster than me. The question is, is it gonna switch out? It woke oh up. no, never mind, it woke up. Alright, take this rock slide! Oh, Super effective critical hit. Wow! Taken down with one hit! What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Polyrath! Polyrath. How will the type difference affect that? And we will swap back out to Venusaur. Go He's to gonna 100% use a water move. Here's a Pokemon trick. So right on, come on back. Venusaur get watered. Oh no! It's psychic! Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon oh, but he does not have much in the special stat department at all. How will the swap Pokemon fight? I'm not even gonna bother trying to sleep him. He's gonna be faster than Oh no, I'm faster than What's him. That? So stab move, get critical him. hit, weakness. Yeah, that was enough Gone. to take him out. It's a one-hit wonder. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. We're down to the Chanmon. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one. Put him back to sleep. Or he uses something like Fire What's Punch this? on me. Oh no! It fell asleep. It woke up! Neither of course it did. I will put him back to sleep, I hope. What'll it do? It 
fell asleep again. It fell asleep again. It's fast asleep. How will this news affect the bat? Alright, let's hit it with a razor leaf. What now? And the weak spot. It's a critical hit, but it's not a Oh! oh is it down and out? I did not expect that. And there, and there goes, goes the battle. battle. Can't even see Venusaur's eyes, just the end battle text over his face. Continue battling? Yeah. Let's see what cool trainers got. Oh, you got a zappy dose. Of course you got a zappy dose. Why wouldn't you have a zappy dose? Blastoise is definitely not coming into this fight. Charizard's definitely not coming into this fight. Venusaur cannot come into this fight. Bug types and flying types galore. So no Blastoise, no Charizard, no Venusaur. It's kind of like the game has basically said it's going to be a Pikachu, Rhydon, and Alakazam kind of fight. Alright, so Pikachu, Rhydon, and Alakazam. That's as best I can do. What's up? Hopefully I made the right call here. Two trainers here in this gym have legendaries. And the leads with Zapdos. I'm kind of glad that I led with Pikachu. So let's go ahead and immediately drop that Thunder Wave. So regardless of what happens, it's a done deal. All right, now that They're that's... Let's go ahead and swap out to Rhydon in case he wants to do something silly to me. Pikachu did his job. Oh, it's Rhydon. Rhydon, you're going to have to tank whatever's about to happen. Ha! Joke's What's on this? you! I'm already slow! But also, I'm a ground type. So let's go ahead and slap it for Rock Slide. Whoa! Oops, oh, of course it did. It flew up into the sky, it flew up into the sky so that you can't do jack battle. to it. Combatants face, each other. Combatants face each other. Rock Slide's gonna miss. Ah. I don't think Rock Slide hits flying types up Whoa, there. This one missed too. Yeah, of course it missed. He used fly. What will it do? It's not it very effective. The heated battle rages on! Wow! So far you've missed Pokemon Shady that have effective. fallen asleep and woken up on the same turn twice, basically. It's paralyzed on the spot! Alright, Zapdos. Go, but the opponent appears Hopefully this rock slide will take you out and I don't have to worry about a big Whoa, scary big legendary in a gym leader battle. Super effective! Not even owned oh, by the gym leader. Down. Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's Clefable. How will the type difference affect that? That's a great question. How will it affect yeah. battle? Seismic toss. What's this? There, it's a hit. Always gonna be 50 damage because of your level. Damage attack! Major damage! Neither one is conceding an eight. I'm glad that I leveled up this ride on. What now? Total of 100 That's damage decent. so far, so about half my health. Earthquake! That's a good hit! Wow! Go down! They're 
there's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. It's been pretty well balanced, but let's be honest, there was no way I could ever realistically use that Pidgeot. I could swap out Lapras with Blastoise or even Starmie if things get a little a little wacky once we beat Giovanni or if, you know, getting to Giovanni becomes a little bit wacky. And I always have that Starmie in reserve. I think Starmie will be a better choice overall. I think I had a really good Shelter too that I could probably level up and evolve into a Cloister. Give it some basics. Yeah, we want to beat the snot out of Giovanni now. Oh, look, actual ground types. I feel like Blastoise is a safe lead on this. We've also got Nidoking King and Nidoking Queen, so Alakazam is obviously going to be in this mix. So, I guess the question is, who's going to come in and... Fill the last spot. Maybe Charizard? My concern is if the Nidoking King or Queen know Earthquake. Otherwise, if they don't, then I could bring in Venusaur pretty safely. Because it's not like Venusaur can get poisoned. So even if they, they have Toxic or whatever. Alakazam, Venusaur, Rhydon, and or Blastoise. I find it interesting he said or Blastoise. I think I'm gonna do Alexander Vino and Blast. I've got one, two, three, four that are weak potentially to water, so I think I'll lead with Blastoise. And then everyone else that comes after doesn't matter. Alakazam and I agree probably Venusaur. Let's do this. This is it. The final gym leader, Giovanni, the dawn of Giovanni? Pokemon. The challenger has to be called Giovanni. Hmm. He led with Tauros, and Tauros is fast and scary, and he knows thunder. Tauros is OU in RBY, I think. Big that, and it's a crit. Get out of here! I got lucky. Not only did Hydro Pump not miss, it was a crit. I got he's leading out with nothing that is weak. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit you with another Hydro Pump. Although I think the Persian will be faster. Yep. Thunderbolt again! <laughs> so they knew Thunder and Thunderbolt, huh? Like he's trying to get rid of my answer to whatever is... Oh my god, it's another crit. Game's making me look bad. I said this game cheats. And it's doing everything but... There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining I'm actually Pokemon. surprised that my Blastoise has tanked a Thunder and a Thunderbolt. Although, to be fair, they weren't stabs, right? So that shouldn't be too surprising either. I feel like a Surf. I don't want to chance a third Hydro Pump. Oh, you're fast. And you dug a hole. Listen, that water should drain into the hole that he dug. I'm just saying. I don't think that uh, Blastoise is going to survive that. I'm gonna have to take Blastoise is probably gonna have to take this L. I'm pretty sure that's gonna knock me out. Doug Trio's pretty pretty good at physical, and it's a crit. All right, next obvious probably be Venusaur. Oh, it's Venusaur! Yeah, and, and Gym Leader Castle, you can't get continues anyway, so it's not like it matters if uh, somebody drops. Oh, he's faster, and he's gonna dig again. Oh, 
We're gonna have to hope that Venusaur can tank. The heated battle rages on! That part poison is gonna hurt. Yeah, oh no! I'm pretty... I'm good? Oh, because I guess grass cancels it out. Savage attack. Super effective critical hit stab weakness. Gone. It's a one hit wonder. That's it. Stage clear. Stage clear. Way to go, Venusaur. Venusaur and Blastoise doing the work this stream. All right, that means we're we're headed to probably one of the most annoying parts of Gym Leader Castle. Received the key from Giovanni and opened the gate to the last castle. The Elite Four. And the music changed and everything. We're ready for the Elite. I like how Venus is in the corner. LOL. I want you guys to know if there was like a little blood pressure pulse thing. Like, this is this part makes me legitimately anxious because you have to beat those four people. You know, we gotta be. Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, and Lance, and then we have to have a fight against our rival. And I believe that the rival's Pokemon changes depending on a lot of things. Like, since I'm playing with Pokemon from the Game Boy games, it actually manipulates the team that he can use, and I don't know what team he's gonna have that. So it's not like the other ones are just like three, and then boom, there you go. No, this is. You have to beat these four guys, no continues, and then you have to face your rival, who is going to have an absurd team. So it's probably going to take me more than one try, but I have my uh, my backup team in reserve, like Pokemon that are just slightly better at what my team can do. So hopefully my team, IV trained, or rather... I tried to get the best possible IVs that I could for them. They're maximum EV trained. They've got the moves. Let's see how we do. Elite 4 trainer Lorelei is up first. And there is no switching out either. There is, uh, when you get to your rival, it's the exact same team that you had to use getting up in there. All right, so Rhydon's been a pretty safe bet every single time, so he's going to come in with this team. Let's do it to it. Do, 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 do. All right, so we've got Dugong, we got Jinx, we got Cloyster, we got Lapras, we got Slowbro, and we got Articuno. So Venusaur can take out at least three of them, or can deal with four of them, but all four of those also probably have Ice Beam, so that's the scary part. Charizard can help deal with only one of them. Pika, Vino, and Ally, that's probably going to be the team, honestly, because I can't bring Rhydon into this mess. That Articuno is probably going to be the scariest part. All right, let's see how we do with a Pikachu, a Venusaur, and an Alakazam. The challenger now faces the Elite Four. The first opponent is Lorelai. Leading with Articuno. I'm glad the Pikachu's first. We got a Thunder Wave this sucker. <laughs> they strike fighting poses. Bubble beam. What will the trainer do now? Critical the hit speed down. fell. The heated battle Here's hoping on. Thunderbolt can do something. Thunderbolt him into oblivion. Here can one can only hope. Oh, it's a crit! It might do it! It might do it! Nope, not even close. <laughs> Pikachu is down for the count, but he's paralyzed, so whatever. Alakazam is probably a safe lead. Actually, yeah, Alakazam's gonna have to be the safe lead here. Alakazam should be able to take him down. Oh, it's 
Alakazam. It has to make up for lost ground. Dang, and that was a crit too. I feel like round two, I'm definitely gonna have to start using legendaries or something. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Slowbro. We're evenly matched. Man, I sure Pokemon wish I down. had. Neither Pokemon is backing down. Hmm. Should I remain with Alexander or swap out to Venusaur? He probably knows Psychic, so swapping out to Venusaur is probably a risk. To be fair, he has a legendary Pika's Unevolved. That's also true. Slow grind with Alakazam. I'm, you're not wrong. Hey, I issued an order. It's just at the same time you said that. Oh my gosh. He's got Thunder Wave. Everything's got Thunder Wave in this game. Neither one is succeeding an inch. Combatants face each other. What now? That depends on how much psychic does to me. Power Not too much. I can probably tank it and keep recovering for a bit. What's this? That was weak. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Gonna swap out. Called it. What's he gonna swap out to? What's that? Man, it is gonna be kind of painful to do this. I don't think Venusaur is gonna stand a chance. It's more resistant to physical blood. I'm glad you're more resistant to physical do? blows. Oh, that's strong. Yeah, I don't, I don't have much of a choice here. I gotta keep, uh, gotta keep using psychic. What now? Yeah, it's a hit. Oh it's my God! Paralyzed on the spot. The I try to recover. I'm really glad I didn't get Alakazam to lose Recover, because Recover is really nice whenever I have to do these tanky fights. Alright, assuming I'm not paralyzed. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna feel comfortable. Going back on the psychic barrage here. Sparks are flying in this heated map. It's thrashing about. What's that? And then it's a crit and brings me right back to F Y game. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Alakazam is holding his own. There's nothing left in reserve. No kidding. Oh, but he's gonna have his stats reset now. So, whatever his special went down with. Oh, try attack? What? I don't know if this will work. I'm going to try to recover. That's a good hit. Nope, I wasn't going to survive that. Oh. Taken down. I wasn't going to survive that either way since I was paralyzed. So now it's all up to... Uh, down to one Pokemon it's up to Venusaur. Oh, it's Venusaur! There's just one Pokemon aside now. Yeah, not even a chance. Just Razor Leaf. Right Just Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf flurry. Round 
I got slow, bro. I has to like double check. Like, if, did we get defeated? Yeah, man, we got defeated. Okay, I'm gonna tip over now. All right, Bruno. All rock types and. Two fighting types. No, three three rock types and three fighting types. My mic was covering up the Majamp. Alright, so... Blastoise is probably a safe lead? Or Alakazam? Either one of them is a safe lead, I feel like. I feel like Alakazam can... I feel like Alakazam should probably lead, honestly. I feel like Alakazam is just gonna wipe the floor with the three fighting types. And I don't think any of those other three have good special. Alakazam, definitely to lead, Venusaur, and Blastoise. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. Do 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 psychic now. Do 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 And he's down. Down on the word go. There's been major action already. Oh, it's hit on chance. How will the type difference affect that? All right, let's see. Wonder what skill I'm gonna use. Certainly not psychic. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's on it! <laughs> GG, easy. The remaining Pokemon count is three. Yeah, Bruno's one. definitely, the I want to say, the less, the least sight. scary of anything what that I'm gonna face right now. For me, it's probably gonna be the most scary is gonna be Lorelei. Pretty much Lorelei, Agatha. And, uh, Lance. Because Lance... If I recall, he's gonna have some Pokemon in there that aren't even Dragon types. Not, like, not even close. Like, not even, like, you look at it, like, well, like... I know it's not a dragon, but at least it looks like a dragon. Alright, Agatha. All right, so everything there is also weak to Psychic. <laughs> so I guess we're leading with Alakazam again. Uh, Alakazam. I feel like I'm right on in Jarzard. Alakazam by himself, just send him out by the, like, we don't need, we don't need the rest of the team. Good guys, I got this, you can sit down. Definitely Alakazan right on and uh Next up, another daunting foe. What strategy will work against this wily lady? Muck Muck's flipping us off. Whoa! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Yeah, yeah, he does. There's been major action already. Oh, it's Arbok. The Pokemon are entirely different types. We get through this within a reasonable amount of time. I almost kind of want to try Prime Cup. I know that I can't use my team, but maybe. Maybe we could do some, uh, down with one hit. some rentals and see how There's we do with the rentals. In the of like 
fiddle with that. Oh, it's gold back. Fiddle with that, see if we come up with a rental team that can Pokemon deal with that. Three to one. The battle has become one sided. Savage attack. Back the weak spot. Gone! It's a one hit wonder. And there goes the battle! You know when they zoom in on the spoons like that, the textures, I can't tell if it's, he's holding them backwards or not. I mean, I know he's not, but it looks weird. All right, like I could, I could feel my pulse increasing because I know Lance is going to be scary. What the heck? Why is there a lap? See, this is what I'm talking about. See, okay, look, Gyarados, Dragonair, Okay, like the only dragon type that's there is Dragonair. But then this man has a Gyarados in here. Look, I can let Gyarados, Dragonair, Charizard, and maybe Aerodactyl slide by virtue of them looking like dragons. But why is there a Lapras and a Kangaskhan up in there? Like, how does one even begin to deal with this team? I don't even know what to lead with. That Gyarados in and of itself is scary. Pikachu, Blastoise, and Alakazam. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need the, the Blastoise to deal with the uh the Dragonair, the Aerodactyl, the Charizard. But you know that Gyarados is gonna know Thunder. You know it's gonna I can guarantee you it's gonna know Thunder. And hyper beam and maybe hydro pump or surf i can guarantee you those will be three at least three of the moves it has pikachu best bet goes first more than likely all right so let's do let's do that pikachu and we got good old blastoise <laughs> they're all gonna know hyper beam probably all right hold on because uh i'm nervous now pikachu blastoise and alakazam Coming down to the edge, here's Lance, the last remaining master of the Elite Four. I am definitely going to Thunder Wave right out the gate. Now. Now. It's you, Thunder Wave. Oop, it's paralyzed. Blizzard. That's going to kill me. That's going to take me out on one hit. Oh, I survived by 25 HP. In this battle. They go into battle the it's the and it didn't even do half. Right, that, sir. It didn't even do half, dude. Good hit. I know he's tanky, but oh, oh my god. What will the next Pokemon be? I guess Alakazam. They strike fighting poses. Oh, it's Alakazam! How will the type difference affect that? What now? Blizzard. Savage attack. Yeah, it's a hit. All right, so we can tank the blizzards with Alakazam. Neither one is succeeding an inch. A psychic blast. That's a good hit. Oh, it's down. Oh. Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's Charizard! The Pokemon Could I swap out the Blastoise? Lapras over Blastoise in the future? Maybe. 
Should I try to psychic blast them or should I go for a swap out? I feel like I should go for the swap out. Each other down. The trainer hasn't issued an order. What's the matter, trainer? I think I'm gonna swap yet. What's the matter, trainer? I don't know. I'm dealing with... He's supposed to be the master of dragon types, and here he leads with a Lapras game. Maybe that's part of the issue. You know? Just saying. Yeah, I think I, I think I did a smart move with the swap out, because that slash probably would have hurt Alakazam quite a bit. Oh my god, the fire spin. It missed! Yes! Whoa! And it's a crit. Now we can only hope that it's anything but Gyarados. Who am I kidding? Oh boy! It's a Dragonair! I think I may have lucked out. I may have lucked out. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. Ice beam, ice the beam, ice, ice beam. beam. It's a crit. I think you upset my Blastoise, dude. He's like, swap me out for Lapras. What are you talking about? I'm gonna show you how it's done. My Blastoise said, no, you don't need to swap me out. All right, are we ready for the for the massive headache that's about to come in? Let's see. I like how it says, oh yeah, you cleared it. Way to go. Congratulations there, bud. And open the gate to the upper floor. We got this? I sure hope so. Let's see. Uh, we have to do the train arrival. We have to do the rival battle. There is no, see, there's no, you get to select your team. Nope, this is it. And he has... Quite an annoying team, honestly. A Flareon, which is kind of tanky. A Cloyster. An Alakazam, which I also have an Alakazam. An Executor. So that's another psychic doodaddy that I have to deal with. Last toys, Alakazam, and I don't know. Charizard made no. Charizard would get stomped by that Sand Slash and that Cloister and the Magneton. Maybe Venusaur tank and leech seed? Maybe. I can't leech seed an executor though. With the grass type. It's that that's the scary part. That that Flareon, that Alakazam, and the Executor. And maybe even the Sand Slash can can really hurt Venusaur. Right on will be too slow for every single one of those Pokemon that are there. And I feel like they're all special attackers, with the exception of Sand Slash. Pika for Thunder Wave or Cheese. What if I bring Charizard in and, like, worst case, like, Fire Spin to death? <laughs>
Thunder Wave Cheese is good too, though. Alright. My Charizard has Earthquake. Which means he can deal with the Magneton. He's got Fire uh, Flamethrower, so he can deal with the Executor. Uh... The Earthquake can also deal with the Flareon. The Earthquake can also kind of deal with the Alakazam, because he won't be able to uh, to deal with that. Yeah. Now the question is, who who's going to lead the charge? Is it still going to be Blastoise leading the charge? Because Blastoise can deal with Flareon. He should be able to at least tank up Cloyster and keep it busy. But if he leads with Executor, that's where it gets scary. If he leads with Executor or Magneton, that's where it's going to get scary. You're thinking Charizard what? On the team or Charizard to lead? So let's back that out. So it'll be Charizard, Alakazam, and Blastoise. <sighs> I got the shakes, man. I'm. I know. I know this is gonna be a tough fight. Ooh. All right, no, no use like delaying it. Let's just get right into it. Oh my god, we got lucky with the Flareon lead. Alright, so I don't even have to think about that. That's Earthquake unless he swaps out. I expected that because Flareon's kind of tanky. Please don't body, don't paralyze me on the first body slam. It still did a ton of damage though. What the hell? It really did. It really did hurt. Pokemon B. Oh, it's Sandflash. It has to make up for lost ground. I'm thinking swap out to the last toys. This leaving Charizard out here seems like a bad idea. I'm gonna swap him out. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. On that we're on the same wavelength it feels like it's gonna be kind of curious to see what he would have hit charizard with which it seems to like to use uh dig over earthquake a lot oh that rock slide would have hurt too why is everything a crit right now stop it don't do that all right so far so good so far so good i'm feeling i'm feeling confident magneton i feel like i should try to do as much damage as i can with blastoise let him faint, swatch out, swap out to Charizard, and hopefully Earthquake will finish it. That That's what my, my instinct is telling me to do. They're each other down. They strike fighting poses. What's that? Major damage! That's gonna be a Thunderbolt. Will you tank it, is the question. Will you tank it? Nope. Maybe if you have the extra health. Maybe, but even then, that's a stretch. I'm, I'm feeling confident that, that this will be... That we're going to do it. If not, whatever Charizard can do, I feel like... 
remaining Pokemon like it'll be good and thankfully this is before Pokemon have like those skills like levitate because an earthquake would definitely not work here but then again it would, Magneton would become a steel type so flamethrower would have also done some damage to it and we won we beat we beat the gym leader castle All right, Gym Leader Castle's complete, and three of the, uh... Three of the thingies are also complete. Gym Leader Castle, clear. Charizard, do 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 Why is it leading with Charizard? I never understood how it leads all of this. Because this is not the order that I picked them in. I wonder if it's by utilitarian use. I feel like maybe it's by most use, but that still doesn't make sense because Charizard wasn't used that much compared to like Alakazam. Pokemon Pro. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got a Pokemon. Every time you beat this part, what am I going to get? And Ammonite. Praise be the Helix Fossil. <laughs> Please go to Professor Oak's lab and receive your Pokemon now. Take good care of it. Where do you want to put it? I... Want to move it into... Oh, box 5 for now? Where are your stats? Kinda... I don't wanna see what its IVs are. Where's the check? Here we go. Let's pull up a, a stat calculator. All right. So let's do. Oops. Oh my night. Oh my night. Here we go. It is level twenty. HP is 47, its attack is 25, its defense is 47, its speed is 21, and its special is 47. Bah. It's it's pretty bad. You would think these Pokemon might be a little better. But it's uh HP is 8 to 9, attack is 10 to 12, that's not too bad. But its defense is only 5 to 7, special is 15, and uh, special, uh, speed, speed, I'm sorry, speed would be 5 to 7, so eh, it's whatever. I have an Omanyte for my Pokedex, I guess. Woohoo. Need to make a modern Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, but now they can just do, like, DLCs, I think they're logic. Alrighty, so we did. Oh, there goes my uh, my capture card dropping the signal again. Let me make sure that my audio didn't desync after that. Every time something like that happens, I see. Do, do, do. Hmm. I feel like it's desynced. Unless... No? Yeah, my audio is kind of desynced from that. I hate it when it does that. Hold on. I can just barely hear that it's desynced too.
We're at 19. This is gonna get loud, guys, for a second. Yeah, it's completely decent. I had to check my audio levels here. Let's see if we can uh, realign that audio real quick. Let's deactivate our card. It's not quite there. It's better, but it's not quite there. I hate when it doesn't uh, align properly. Anyway. Oh, you wanna tinker around in the Prime Cup? Mess around with some Renault Pokemon? Uh, that team is definitely not doing it. Beam, side beam. I would definitely go with this Kadabra over the Alakazam just because of the moveset. I would kind of go with the Loyster. I would I go with the shelter? Got Surf and Blizzard, and you got Bubble and Ice Beam. Yeah, that tends to be the case. Solar Beam, Psychic, Sleep Powder, Deep Seed, Toxic, Self Destruct. I'll go with the Executor for now. So I got a Psychic, a water type, a grass type. No. Oh, you star me. Bubble Beam Thunder, Swift and Minimize, not so much. Surf Psychic and Recovered. Thunder Punch, Thunder Wave, Locked and Metronome. With the Electa Buzz? What about Tauros? Ew. Mm, I kind of prefer the Electa Buzz just because it has the, the Thunder Wave. Fire Blast, Smog. Thunder, Sky Attack, Flash by. Why would it? Why would I want Flash? Fire Blast, Sky Attack, Reflect and Agility. For now. Probably swap some of these around, honestly. Oh, you. Psychic Hypnosis? No. Hypnosis Dream Eater, Nightshade. Nightshade is guaranteed 100 damage at this point. I, I want to hear your opinions on potential teams. Razor Leaf, Sleep Powder, Acid. Acid is kind of trash, though. Arcanine, Fire Blast, Dig. That's actually pretty good. Flamethrower Dig. <laughs> Body Slam. Uh, 
Fire Blast, Quick Attack, Tail Whip, Confuse Ray. I don't really have anything in the, in the ways of a water type. Does your Blast always have Hydro Pump and Withdraw? Surf and Seismic Toss? I have all the options. This Squirtle, this War Turtle's not too bad, I think. Surf, Seismic Toss, Dig, and Toxic? We select some Pokemon. Let's remove War Turtle for now, just so we can keep looking at some other water types. Go up Cloister Prime, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so. War Turtle's got 189 when it comes to special, and 183 when it comes to that. Now, why would I want the Cloister? The Cloister has Ice Beam. Cloyster seems to be the better choice, I feel like. If you feel otherwise, feel free to let me know. So we got grass, water, fire, flying, electric, psychic, a champ got low kick, mega punch, focus energy. Big rock throw, fire blast. I get no fire blast. Now let's take a look at some of the rock types rock slide, earthquake, fissure, and self destruct. Onyx is definitely a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Onyx in my mind. Body Slam, Earthquake, Fissure, Rock Slide. Oh, this right, this right horn is basically my right on. Body Slam, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. Only difference there is the Fissure. What does the right on have? Earthquake. No Thunder. <laughs> About Tangela. Oh my God. All right, let's check out Snorlax. Ugh, ew. Take down metronome, rest, and bide. Thunder wrap. Slam. Hydro pump, body slam, ice beam, and toxic. That's a pretty well rounded. Ammonite, actually. Why? Why? Why Fire Blast? Why can you learn Fire Blast? That's a scare. Oh, I'm a grass, grass type things that can take me? Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Like, if we can learn Ice Beam, that's a pretty scary combination there. Guess I'll go with the Rhyhorn? Uh, what, do you, what do you think of that theme? A Kadabra, a Cloyster, an Executor, an Electabuzz, a Moltres, and a Rhyhorn. Why not experiment for fun? Alright, we'll see. I'll register it just in case it ends up being a good team. It's the Pokeball part of this, so maybe it won't be too too wild and wacky. Yeah, like everything there is gonna be weak to water. If it's not weak to water, it's weak to something else. Oyster, what do you got? Yeah. So, Cloyster, Moltres, and Rhyhorn, I don't know. It's finally underway! Pokemon Tournament Prime Cup Pokeball! 
who will win it all in this wide open unlimited level? enough to take it down. Leer. Leer. Defense is down. Neither one is conceding an eight. Is Clamp better than uh Yeah, it's a uh, Poke Great Ultra and Master. Oh, and eight battles out? each. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. I don't know if Clamp is better than Bubble Beam. Oh, it's Weedle! The a le remaining Pokemon a level 100 Weedle. To one. The battle has become one-sided. I've never used Clamp. What's this? A savage hit! Alright, I have that to kind of base it, it on. Oh, it can make him flinch? Like, the crowd's excitement is building over if they can make him flinch, battle. it might be worth leading with the Clamp and then using a bubbly. Oh, Clamp keeps going. Major oh, it's like a water wrap. Okay. What a furious battle. I didn't know that it was a water wrap. Can I check from here? I don't think I can check from here. Unless you mean check on the browser. I know one of, I think Stadium 2 lets you actually see what the skills do. I'll check the the next time in the next battle. All right, we gotta continue, so off to a good start. And again, this is the Poke Cup, so this is supposed to be the easy part. Let me see if R button to check, B. I can check from here. Alright, so I see a lot of annoyances. <laughs> so... What have you got? You've got Psychic, I might lead with you. You got Psychic and you got Solar Beam, so I might lead with you. I think I'll also go with Rhyhorn and just Kadabra. I'm sure you'll blow through Poke and Great. I mean, if we can advance something, because the only other thing I would think to do would be to try to catch the legendaries in yellow for a, a good IV, EV, oh, a good IV version of them. Hmm. They strike fighting poses. Power. The move it failed. failed. He's gonna disable Psychic. Oh, Solar Beam. Okay, I'd rather have that disable. What's this? It didn't work. Uh, of course, it didn't work. He's gonna confusion, but I'm part Psychic, right? So. Fireworks are flying. At this point, I think I'm just gonna psychic. I don't want to waste time. What now? Stomp his butt. Special stat is down. Okay, that's special. I forget that Drowsy and Hypno both have ridiculous special. They're not gonna do anything to me with their psychic. So let's see how much Stomp does. All right, I wanted to see if I could see what the the moves do. Nope, that did not do anything. Yeah, it's a hit. 
And he's got hypnosis. I used sleep powder twice, it didn't work. Sleep powder once, it's gonna put me in. Hypnosis once puts me to sleep. Of course it does. Of course it does. And he's gonna have Dream Eater, right? He's gonna have Dream Eater, right? No, he's got Pound. Okay. What'll it do? A decent hit! The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle! Oh, it's still Two turns, I'm asleep. What now? Nail the weak spot! The intense battle continues! I'm gonna switch oh, out. There's going to be a change of Pokemon. Oh, it's Omina. For the ice beam, I bet. It woke up. How will the swap Pokemon fight? I'm gonna try to go for I don't know if I should go for the solar beam or the psychic. What else do I have? None of those I would want to swap out into. They're staring each other down. You think I could tank one hit for the solar beam? The trainer hasn't issued an order. Oh, the move is still disabled. The matter, Whoops. Trainer? Drowsy and you never fall asleep. What'll it do? The attack wasn't effective. What a furious battle. Disable war off. There, it's a hit. What now? Fireworks are flying in this battle. Big dog! Boom! Oh! It's down! There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokémon. Oh, it's Eakin! And that battle's done. And there goes the battle! <laughs> we got two continues, so far so good. Bunch of normal types, basically. And no fighting moves. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're gonna hop off your phone. I'll still be watching for a bit, but I get into bed mode, so I can be chatting. Grats on the gym leader, leave four run through. Yeah, at least we did that. They strike fighting poses. Our is faster. Getting pumped up. A psychic flash. Major death. There's been major action already. Thanks for tuning in and watching, oh, it's dude. Cuba. How will the type difference affect that? What's this? There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Pikachu! Kang! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. What'll it do? It didn't do much damage. Savage attack! One, One HP. Are you kidding? But the opponent appears beat. One HP. What's that? Boom! Big stop! Wow! Go down! that are weak to electricity. Three that are weak to psychic and ground. I guess I'll roll with that. The crowd excitement is building. This is round four. So it's not sealed, it's else. How's that? Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon show. Now, that didn't take much. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's crabby! <laughs> The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become oh, one used type. nothing but water types. There it goes! Super effective! Oh, Ultimate battle. With the sign set in the back. And there, and there goes, goes the battle! battle. going for the soul badge not actually the soul badge but you know two pokemon weak to fire a bunch weak to electricity so
Got three that are weak to electricity. So, Electabuzz and Executor are definitely safe bets to roll out with. And maybe Moltres to deal with the rest. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin round five. They strike fighting poses. Vigorous attack. Major death. To try to decrease my accuracy. The intense battle continues. Savage attack. There, it's a hit. Just really trying to whittle away my uh my stats, it looks like. It's paralyzed on the spot. Oh, thunder punch! And it missed. Missed the target. Fireworks are flying in this battle. What now? That's two down. Pokemon is coming out. Oh, it's on it. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Swap over to Moltres. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Moltres. What's this? Oh, pedal dance. That was weak. How will the SWAT Pokemon fight? Fire Blast! Round kill! Wow! Taken down with one hit! There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokémon. Oh, it's Horsey! The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. Definitely swapping out to Executor there. Go into battle poses. The Pokémon returns to its Pokéball. Oh, it's Executor! <laughs> The smoke screen went up! Accuracy took a hit! How will this swamp affect the outcome? I'm gonna roll out with Psychic first. What's that? The Pokemon feeling it! Oh, I'm probably gonna miss. Savage attack! Oh, of course. It's gonna start missing. You're gonna start hitting me with all of the, the status effects. What'll it do? Yeah, it's working. Vigorous attack. Major death. What a furious battle. I can only hope that one more psychic will connect. What now? The opponent's status must be shot. Oh my goodness. So many smoke screens. A psychic blast! Missed the target. The intense battle the other continues. So I'm about to elect the buzz. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. How 
will the SWAT Pokemon fight? How's that? It's probably effective. Wow! Going down! And there goes the battle! We got another perfect along the way. On to battle number seven. four Pokemon there that are going to be weak to electric, so face bet with Electabuzz leading, and I've got Zubat and Ghastly that are going to be weak to Psychic, and honestly the last is a bit of a toss-up. Right on, you've got Rock Slide, right? So Rock Slide to deal with anything else just in case. The field is thinning out. We're into round six. the courtesy, don't worry. There it goes! There, it's a hit! Oh, and we're paralyzed. It's paralyzed on the spot! Sparks are flying in this heated match! Vigorous attack! Major death! Wow! What's this? Of Executor. <clears throat> the trainer's changing Pokemon. Not wise, because he's almost dead anyway. What now? Miss the target. The side wave's not gonna do anything to uh Pokemon fight. Executor. Abra is uh, cleaning himself on the, the carpet, scratching Pokemon. his butt like a dog. Oh, it's Zubat! Zubat, a poison Pokemon type, you say? To the battle has become so what you're time. saying is psychic. Never mind. I'll be confused. If fail, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mr. Lab Man. You've got 
Tentacool. Ball pigs. These two of those Pokemon could get absolutely destroyed by Kadabra, so Kadabra feels like he's gonna be on the team. Cloyster has Bubble Beam, Clamp, and Ice Beam, so he can help deal with the Grass types, as well as the the Fire type there. Actually, Cloyster is gonna be the way to go, like hands down. Oh. So Cloyster, Kadabra. And, uh, it's Executor just in case. This is it, the semi finals! No one wants to lose having come this far. Swapping out to. Oh, it's Bellsprout! Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Ice me! Oh, it's frozen solid! Wow! Lives by 2 it's HP! Rock salt! How will this freeze affect the outcome? Uh, you're gonna go right back to being clamped is what's gonna happen. That? It missed? Oh, miss. Body slam? What's that? First turn paralysis, oh. not surprised. Neither one is not surprised in the slightest. They strike fighting poses. What now? Fire spin. It can't make a move. The heated battle rages on. Now. Here's a Pokemon chain. Oh, it's Kadabra. A really long I intro. What Pokemon fight? There's the attack. The bear hit. Oh, is it down and out? There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's repeating. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Go the ahead and use Psychic to start. Fight. See how much I can do. Savage attack. Oh boy. Oh, it's a one hit the wonder. one hit wonder. And there goes the battle. And there goes the battle.
It's actually rather annoying. Alright, so... Cloyster can deal with two of them. Looks like I'm going to have to leave with Kadabra just to, to get us started. So Kadabra and definitely Cloyster. I guess maybe Rhyhorn? We have seven, seven continues anyway, so if something goes wrong, we got seven continues, but hopefully we'll need to use a continue. Glory of the championship. Is down. There's been major action already. Oh, it's Slowpo. The remaining Pokemon count is three to two. This battle is still up in the air. May have to. Psychic tank this like I've been doing with some of the other fights. What now? It's not very effective. What's this? No strength. Yeah, it's a hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. What's that? Oh, I'll take it. <clears throat> There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's Magnum. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has oh. become one side. I don't know why I did what I just did. What'll it do? They're gone with dig. Hurts itself in its confusion. Uh -oh, it's confused. One still raring to go, but the opponent appears beat. They go into battle poses. What's this? It didn't do much damage. Alright, so the Pokeball Poke Cup is a. Uh, or rather, the Prime Cup Pokeball Challenge is done. Alrighty, so I actually need a moment guys, so I will be right back. I'll leave a 
Keep the in-game music here running for a while instead of the BRB screen. I should be back in a bit.
All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. So, let's see if we can continue to do some more of the Prime Cup. We did, uh, we did the Poke Cup with some rental Pokemon. That wasn't too bad. All right. I mean, I was gonna pick Pokemon Yellow, but truthfully, I'm gonna have to see what we can do here. And we registered a team. I'm gonna keep looking through other teams, seeing if we uh, find anything of use, anything good. I know I was feeling Kadabra, so I definitely want Kadabra. Definitely feeling Executor. Executor was doing pretty good for us. We got Body Slam, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. We can have Horn Attack, Earthquake, Fissure, and Thunder. I don't know how useful Fissure is. I kind of like having the Rock Slide, to be honest. And that'll help me take care of Flying types for sure. Unless I run into a Zapdos. I'm gonna roll out with the Rhyhorn in the meantime. And I was definitely feeling Electabuzz. <laughs> Definitely not. No, we had already looked at peeked at him. No. Probably Porion. Yeah. Jolteon, Thunder, Pin Missile. That's not too bad. Might be if stuff doesn't work out with Electabuzz, Jolteon might be one that I look at. Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, uh, Mist, and Sing. What did I have before? I had Cloister before. Where the heck is Cloister? It's here. They're like the same thing. What's your HP, Cloyster? 244, what's Lapras's HP? 404. And your special is 209. And Lapras is 229. Lapras's speed 159. And Cloyster, you are 179. So a little slower and no clamp but i would get sing what was the other thing missed defense 199 defense 399 <laughs> Cloyster. And how are we going to round it out? What was the last one that I would have picked? 
I don't remember who was the last one I picked. Oh, you jinx. What do you got? Lovely kiss, body slam, psychic, and ice punch. I mean, having some... Uh, some extra psychic overall firepower doesn't... Doesn't hurt, I don't think. I don't know who my last pick was. pick was, I'm not going to lie to you. Moltres, Moltres, Moltres. I was like looking at my... I didn't pick them in the same order. I'll give me Fire Blast. I get a Pokemon that has... Let's take a look at our fire options. What about Magmar? Fire Punch? Psychic? Eh, how do I feel about it, honestly? Two fifty five, two oh five. Yeah, I'm going to go with Moltres. Pretty much the same team. So we've got some of that team evolving a little bit. We got one, two, three, four Pokemon week to fire. Cloister. Oh, it's Cloister! Lee! Its defense is down. How will the Swamp Pokemon fight? The good question. Far so good. Go down. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Parasect! 
The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Oh, Ice Beam. The battle has become one-sided. There's the attack. Round zero. Continue. So we got three Pokemon weak to Psychic. be a safe bet for uh <clears throat> for us to leave with Kadabra. Rhyhorn should also be able to deal with some of that. I think I'm gonna go with Kadabra, Loyster, Rhyhorn. Let's see how that goes. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Of course we lead with the Hypno. Expect to deal with psychic. What that dig didn't do anything. It didn't do much damage. It's not gonna do anything. There's a hypnosis. hypnosis. Oh no, it fell asleep. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. Swap over to Cloyster. Here's a Pokemon chain. An ice beam. What's this? There, it's a hit. What now? Boom! Neither one is conceding an inch. They go into battle poses. Alright, one more ice beam should handle it. I got a high defense, that shouldn't do much of anything. Good hit! The intense battle continues! Savage attack! That's a good hit! Oh! Is it down and out? Hypno and Drowsy are some of the most annoying Pokemon to go up against in this game. Oh, it's not! How will the type difference affect that? Hey, thanks for the follow, Hawaiian Summer Wave. What'll it do? Oh, that's a myth. It is true, it's defense. Welcome to the stream. Sparks are flying in this heated match. 
They strike fighting poses. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit! I'm somewhat noobish, so bear with me. What now? There, it's a hit! What a furious battle! Combatants face each other. What's that? Boom! See if we can, uh, water wrap it. It can't make a move. Neither one is completely I'd really like to be able to use Cadaver right now. Oh, we're gonna swap out? Yep. Who are you swapping out to? Oh, it's Nidorina! Again, wish I could use Cadaver. Cadaver's taking a nap right now. Go with an ice beam to start. That wasn't too bad. What'll it do? Super effective because of the ice taping. The heated battle rages on. Let's swap out to Rhyhorn to prevent the KO. Can we keep that continue going? There's nothing left in reserve. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. And Earthquake will hopefully oh, take care of that. Of oh, it's Rhyhorn! Oh, a horrible screech! Its defense is down. Did not expect Will the screech. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? It improved its defense. Might tank this, I guess. Wow, that's an effective hit. Yep. If he hadn't used acid armor, the he'd be down. Battle continues. They go into battle mode. What's this? What a way to go. Its defense is down. There it goes. Super effective. And it's down. And there goes the battle. Way to go, Rental Rhyhorn. <laughs> Continues under our belt for the Great Ball Run. Alright, so we've got a handful of fighting types, so Kadabra it is. Definitely Rhyhorn to deal with those electric types. The electric types will also struggle a little bit with executors. So that'll that'll help us. I hate muck more of a pain than necessary for a poison type. Yeah, although earlier on I was really not looking forward to facing Hypno and Drowsy. Just seemed to tank everything. They go into battle poses. Oh, already switching out. That Pokemon must not, not have been the right, right choice. choice. We swapped out to the Raichu. Oh, Raichu's gonna get smacked with Psychic. Depending on how much damage it does. Oh boy, yeah, we're not switching out. I was gonna debate switching out to... I was gonna debate switching out to Rhyhorn, but uh, no need for that. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Marowak! 
The Pokemon are entirely different types. Uh. Let's bring out Executor. They strike fighting poses. Here's a Pokemon chain. Keep Kadabra nice and healthy. Oh, it's Executor! Pumped up! How will the SWAT Pokemon fight? Let's see if we can get a solar beam. Psychics are OP, that's expected in this game. Yeah, Gen 1 psychic types are wild. My actual team that uh I just finished Gym Leader uh castle with and the Poke Cup. Alakazam basically carried. The intense battle continues! Super effective and a crit. He's going down. Take it down with one hit. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. We're down to the last Pokemon. And we don't even have to swap out because we got Psychic on uh, Executor. The battle has become one-sided. It's getting pumped up. How's that? Whoa! That's tough! Wow! That didn't take much! It really didn't. I'll take it though. And there goes the battle! Three continues so far. We're doing pretty good. This is the fourth battle. This is where stuff starts to get wacky. Oh, I've not seen this type of trainer. What? Oh, Gambler looks way different here. What? So we've got two week to electricity. One week, two week to water. So, Executor can take out three of them, so he's a fairly good shake to be first to go out. We got water types. So, I want to say Executor or... I want to say Executor. I want to say Cloister. Just in case we have to deal with that. Ponyta. Yeah, Executor. Crits are often not a good idea in this gen as others. Yeah, I think it's based on the Pokemon speed. Executor, Cloister, and I guess I'll go with Kadabra because Kadabra is always a safe bet. <clears throat> the crowd's excitement is building. This is round four. And he leads with the Ponyta. Of course. Let's swap out. Oh, oh is that part of its AI? Is it would it really do that? Oh, it's would, like expect like fissure and stuff. Horn drill. Yep, you uh, you called it. Whoa, the <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. No, nah, man, this ain't even about being cautious. First hit, paralyzed. Oh, okay, I didn't do it this time. It's not dying because its speed fell. But hey, maybe that means I can go first now. Yep. Nidorino. I'm gonna guess he's gonna know Horn Drill too. How will 
the types of different effects that. Uh, Kadabra. Now. Here's a Pokemon tree. Oh, it's Kadabra! Body slam, this might hurt a bit. What's that? There, it's a hit! Not as much as I thought it was gonna hurt. How will the Swap Pokemon fight? By slapping it in the face with Psychic. A psychic blast! Wow, that's an effective hit! God, I wish I had level 100 now, Pokemon. I don't have to be dependent on these rentals. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. But I do want to see how far I can make it, because we've done everything else. Oh, it's Traveler! We did the other cups, we did uh the remaining Pokemon the Gym Leader Castle, we defeated the rival at the Gym the Leader Castle. Alright. Cloister. Bring out Cloister in case he wants to self-destruct. Although I think the rules for Stadium, if he self-destructs or explodes, uh he loses. Yep. Metronome and self-destruct! Self oh, called it. I hate that gambler like nobody's business. That's legit the only way to beat him, outspeed him, and pray he doesn't paralyze you. I I can see that he's gonna be a, a pain later on for like the uh, Ultra Ball and Master Ball. Seem to be pretty knowledgeable about this game. We got three water types. Three water types and three grass types. All three of those grass types are weak to psychic because they're all grass poison. Kadabra's a pretty good place to lead. I played this game for years. Oh yeah. <laughs> By all means, feel free to to tell me what your ideal rental team is for the Prime Cup. <laughs> uh, I think I will lead with Kadabra. Actually, no. I'm going to lead with Executor, because Ex Executor should be able to deal with the other grass types, as well as being able to solar beam the water types there. So, definitely going to lead with him. Kadabra for backup. And I'll chant it with Cloister. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Begin round five. It's a good call. Go ahead and solar beam. We go into battle poses. In a bubble beam. Here's the first move. Speed is down. Speed is a little slow, but looks like he was gonna outspeed me anyway. It was one of my first, very first N64 games along with Stadium 2. Oh, nice. So you got both Pokemon Stadium games to start off with. That's pretty cool. I'm actually trying to see if I can do a run of all of the Pokemon games from the very beginning. So I've been playing Pokemon Yellow and streaming that. And uh, also running Stadium alongside it, because why not? I'm pretty sure I'll do all the side games as I go along. So once I get to Gold and Silver, I'll do Stadium 2, and once I get to Ruby, Sapphire, the, uh, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, I'll do uh, the Coliseum games. Oh, well, we can Psychic type here. This battle is still up in the air. It's building energy for the next attack. Oh, why would you try to Solar Beam me? A Psychic Blast! There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokémon! Oh, it's Seedra! The remaining Pokémon no, are 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. 
Oh, but it's gonna smoke screen for two turns, so this is probably gonna end. This is not gonna end well. I'm more than confident it's gonna do another smoke screen, and Solar Beam's probably gonna miss as a result. Sparks are flying in this heated match. What's this? Yes, it's working. In this situation, I call up Electabuzz and Moltres to back up Executor. Don't let them have to be a hero. Oh, we got the we got the hit in. I've continued so far. Ooh. Bird boy. I I regret to inform Bird Boy that Gyarados, Bidro, and Hunter not birds. But Rhyhorn could be a safe lead here. Actually, the safest lead would be Electabuzz. And hit deal with Hero. Uh, oh my gosh. Farfetch'd out of Brain Fart, Gyarados, and Pidgeot. And can also deal, ironically, with Haunter. <clears throat> In fact, I think Rock Slide can deal with pretty much everything here. <clears throat> Except for the Gyarados. Gyarados is a bit tricky, so that's where Electabuzz is going to have to come in. I guess Rhyhorn... Electabuzz, and I guess... Kadabra? The field is thinning out! We're into round six! Led with the Gyarados. Should have expected the lead with the Gyarados. Changing Pokémon! That Pokemon must not have been the right choice. It was 100% not the right oh, choice. It's Here's the first move. That Gyarados is not going down with one Thunderbolt. Or one Thunder Punch, rather. Sparks are flying in this Might as well try to catch it with the Thunder Wave. This is... I'm definitely going down here. It's you, Thunder Wave! You're gonna be paralyzed? Nope, you're gonna use strength. That's gonna wipe me out. So much for the perfect. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Uh Kadabra, because I'm definitely not pulling out Rhyhorn for this mess. Oh, it's Kadabra! How will the type difference affect that? The commands are issued. What's this? And the weak spot. Okay, not too bad. Let's hope that strength doesn't do too much. Often never good to let one bone be a hero, because if they go down, it can turn GG real fast. Yeah, I agree. Made a good call with the Electabuzz, but you needed a stronger electric type. Is there, a, is there a better rental electric type that, that I can be using right now? I'd assume it'd probably be Zapdos. Or Jolteon. A psychic blast! There, it's a hit! Oh, it's down! What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's the Jota! The Pokémon are entirely different types! At this point, I already had, uh, like the buzz faint, so I may as well just let Kadabra do What's what that? Kadabra does. Severe hit. It lived. Double edge? Will double edge take it out? Double edge! Good hit! And it's down! Why, uh, was he not supposed to take damage There's from the double edge? One Pokemon left in reserve. 
Ah, Electrode is also a good one, you're right. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth battle continues. Oh, Rock Slide's gonna miss every turn going forward, is my luck. Ha! It's a reverse psychology game. Reverse psychology. We're down to one Pokemon aside. Oh, it's Honda! There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down He's gonna be to faster. One. Yeah, he's gonna use Nightshade for the 100 HP damage. Yeah, it's a hit! Earthquake! Super effective! Down! That didn't take much! And there goes the battle! <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting mix. I actually don't know what to do here. Executor can deal with the Star You, the Venusaur, and prevent that Kadabra from doing too much, unless that Kadabra also knows Dig. <clears throat> Backseat gaming is allowed, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, if you got recommendations while, uh, while I'm brainstorming here, chat's free to, to let me know what their opinions are. So, Ultras can deal with two of them. Some Ultras' moves. Let's double check. Sky attack. Concerned about that star you. Like the buzz has thunder wave and thunder punch. That Chansey. If that Chansey comes out, that's gonna be a really big annoyance. I'm almost positive that Chansey is gonna come out. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm stumped. I might want to just overall lead with maybe Moltres. I don't think anyone here has a fighting type move. That Staryu is gonna know everything. You know, Thunderbolt, it can know Surf, it can know Psychic. At least we can also deal with those two. Maybe lead with Electabuzz and worst case Thunder Wave swap out. <clears throat> Kadabra can be one of the choices. The guarantee Chansey will show up. My my gut instinct is telling me Chansey is gonna show up. Electabuzz, Dabra, I guess. A Rhyhorn to deal some 
stronger physical attacks on some of them. I got some continues so if it uh if it doesn't go through. No one wants to lose having come this far. I'm gonna definitely paralyze that cadabra. I'll probably have to take a psychic. Oh no, I got lucky. Alright, so let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Rhyhorn. Hopefully I can get another paralysis in there. And then an earthquake should take that cadaver down. Could have also gone with the cadaver in hindsight. Oh, it doesn't know psychic and else confusion. And it's a crit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Earthquake. Best thing to do is use moves to cut its defensive bulk. Swamp out. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. The Kadabra will be able to tank. Oh, it's Kadabra. What's that? No. I can feel that Chansey just fight? waiting to come out of that Pokeball. What now? Oh, it didn't go down in one hit. And you're gonna leech seed me? Yeah, it is definitely setting up for that, Chansey. Sparks are flying in this heated match. A psychic blast! It's doubly effective! Wow! Go down! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh! We may have lucked out a bit here. The battle has become one sight. No chancy. I better make the most of this. I don't want to lose this and then have to deal with. It's not very effective. Your part psychic, and then have to deal with uh. Any of that nonsense? Oh, you got toxic, you. Oh, toxic! It opted to slowly damage the opponent. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. What's this? Probably gonna swap out. That's what I wanted. I want to drop that special. What's that? Oops, that's a miss. What Let's go ahead and bring out Electabuzz. Here's a Pokemon chain. Well, Thunder Wave. What now? Of course, it's all five hits. There, it's a hit. I mean, it didn't do much, but it was still all five Will hits. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? What'll it do? Oops, it's paralyzed. It's also got Leech Seed. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. Thunder Punch didn't do much of anything. What's that? It didn't do much damage. 
But one more will definitely take it out. <clears throat> one still raring to go, but the opponent appears beat. And it's down for the count. Oh, is it down and out? And there goes the battle! Got really lucky that Chansey didn't come out there. We gotta continue. Now, what shenanigans do I have to deal with? With cool boy. Oh, man. oh, he's got a uh, got his little Moltres too. Oh man, he's got a lot of <laughs> a lot of the same nonsense I'm running. He's got a Cloister. I've got a Cloister. He's got a Rhyhorn. I've got a Rhyhorn. He's got a Moltres. I've got a Moltres. So. Cloister can deal with the Moltres, it can deal with the Dragonair, and it can deal with the Rhyhorn. So it feels like that's a good choice to come out with. A Cloister, Electabuzz, and I hope that could. Dabra might be a good choice, or should I go with the Executor? Kadabra, how much do you have for special? 299, Executor, you've got 289. Also got more bulk. Cloyster, I like the buzz. I guess we can try out Kadabra to lead. Not Kadabra to lead, I'm sorry. Uh, Kadabra on the team, rather. This is it, the final battle! Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Anything could deal with that right away? No. So I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it with Cloyster. Let's clamp. They go into battle poses. Oh, you can go first. Got it. Oh, toxic! It opted to slowly damage the opponent. What will the trainer do now? Boom! What a furious battle! The attack is still continuing! Yeah, it's a hit! Gonna hurt a little more each time by virtue of how toxic works. You're gonna swap Save out on me? Oh, it's back to come! It's gonna force how me to will switch. The swap Pokemon fight? It may work out great for me because that forces the swap out on me too. And then that turns toxic into a regular poison. But you're probably gonna thunder wave. Oh you didn't thunder wave. What's this? There, it's a hit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Hit you thunder wave! Oops, and then he thunder waves me back. What's that? Oops, it's paralyzed. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Let's try Metronome. I don't know what to expect. Never mind, I'm paralyzed. paralyzed on the spot. And you're gonna drop my defense. I have a feeling this is not gonna go well. I can already tell. That 
They strike fighting poses. Sand attack. Kinda worthless. We hope stuff's gonna miss now. What'll it do? A decent hit! Of course. Sparks are flying in this heated match. Barrage? Oh, well, that might be good. What now? Oops, Unless it misses, it. and now you're paralyzed. It's paralyzed on the spot. Neither one is conceding an inch. Poison sting, kind of worthless. There's a little damage. Swift is gonna take me out. What's that? Oh! The heated battle rages on. I wish I had. Uh, wish I could use my Jolteon. What'll it do? Good hit. It's a swift attack. I have to let him go down. And I could swap out to the Kadabra, and hopefully Kadabra can do some work. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Kadabra! The Pokémon are entirely different types. Let's go with the stab, because I feel like Dig's not going to do much of anything. It's a weak and it's a crit. There it's we go. Finally taken down. Kadabra's always Which a safe bet. Kadabra and Alakazam, rather. Oh, it's closer. How will the type difference affect that? I wish I still had, uh... What I like the this? buzz in the mix. Alright, you're bulky, I expected that. Whoa! I should be able to tank this surf a little bit. Probably no more than half. Never mind, it's a crit. Both Pokemon have taken heavy damage. What's that? That's a good hit. Oh! I'm gonna luck out on this victory. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. What'll it do? Heart blow. And you're oh, down. That was... Down I got lucky. I'm not going to pretend that was anything but luck. Alright, that's two of them down. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is going to be rough, though. Prime Cup, Great Ball, clear. So we've got... We've done pretty well so far. My Pokemon Yellow teams have won the Petite Cup, the entirety of the Poke Cup, the Pika Cup, our rentals are... has gotten us at least two of these of the prime cup and uh, we've also completed all of gym leader tower including the elite four and the rival so we've done pretty well we've unlocked the dual game boy and hopefully once we uh once we complete the prime cup down here if we can complete it with uh, the rentals, it should be doable. It's gonna be hard, but it should be doable. If we can do that, then we will be one step closer to uh, completing the major side game for Gen 1.
<sighs> but the stream has gone on for a bit. It's been going on for about three hours, and unfortunately, I got responsibilities that I got to take care of. So this is probably going to be it for tonight's stream. I'll see if I can stream again on Tuesday. If not, then we'll do another stream again on Sunday. We seem to be progressing pretty well. Right now, my focus is on Stadium. Uh, in Pokemon Yellow, we are currently at Cinnabar Island, but we do need to make a trek back to the Seafoam Islands. Go ahead and catch that Articuno, then make a trek over to the power plant and catch that Zapdos. And once we're done on Cinnabar Island, we have got to make our way all the way over to Viridian City, defeat Giovanni there, and then make our way towards completing the game and trying to get level 100 Pokemon. Trying to do this as best I can without being too ridiculous. Unfortunately, the way that Stadium works, it kind of forces you to be a bit ridiculous. But no game sharking, no nothing. Uh, at most, uh, I am using that blue version that you guys have seen to help me out with some of the stuff. So getting TMs from there and uh, I'm just using that to help out the team. Trying not to rare candy. That's that's lame. I'll just grind everything out. You guys have seen the crazy amount of hours I put into Pokemon Yellow. It's uh, It's been nutty. But we're getting there. And I know that once we complete this, there's the Mewtwo section. And then if I remember as a kid, there was round two. And round two is supposed to be pretty much all of this all over again. But I think slightly more difficult or way more difficult. So that should give us a ton more to do. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely want to thank official one piece layer for earlier on for joining us if you're still awake and using this as background noise to fall asleep thank you so much for the support official one piece layer and of course our latest channel follower hawaiian summer wave who's got the uh who's got the know-how and the recommendations for teams as well he's been playing this for a while so hopefully I'll be seeing you in other streams and you can uh, you can go ahead and coach me through stuff and maybe maybe I can learn something I don't already know because I'm kind of noobish at this. Like I used to be the kid that would have the Pikachu with the Thundershock, Thunderbolt, Thunder and then Thunder Wave because that's all I ever saw Ash's Pikachu do. And having a Charizard with Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Ember and I don't know, Fly or something. It was, it was not the best teams, but I'm older now. And although I'm still using a lot of my childhood teams, they have way better moves now and they know what they're doing. And I know a little bit more of what I'm doing. So, yeah, I will let you guys know when I'm going to stream again over at Twitter.com slash Lee Mustang. So go ahead and give me a follow there so you can know when I'm going to be streaming. I'll usually make sure I post an alert over there as well. Uh, if you want to see what I'm adding to my game collection over time, go ahead and hit me up and follow me over at Instagram.com slash Lee.Mustang so you can see what kind of stuff I'm adding to my game collection over time. And of course, go ahead and give me a follow over at YouTube.com slash Mustang, where you can catch previous VODs of this stream, starting all the way back in Pokemon Yellow, getting our teams, catching the Mew at Celadon. All of that stuff, you can catch up and watch all that or skim through it, get an idea of what's been going on. And of course, if you're watching this over at youtube.com slash Lee Mustang as a VOD after the fact, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Click the little bell icon to be in the know. And of course, I will see you guys in the next part. Until then, guys, take care and have a good night.